Hello everybody, this is Marlo from Explorminate, also known as Micah here in Meat Space, and I have with me again the Grand Poobahs of Rhombus Studios, James and Adam Rohrbaugh. I think I uh, called James the wrong name last time. That was funny when that <laughs> happened. And uh, we've, uh, we were talking and we decided that it would be good to make another video because there's more things to see here in the strategic mode, which I did not realize. So uh, <laughs> they say that we should design a scout and see if we get eaten by a monster, which we won't get eaten by a monster because they're not in the game yet. So here we are in the ship design screen. Tell me what to do. So there's so there's a couple of cool nifty little things, um, and I'll, we'll show it to you in this mode because actually this designer isn't in the skirmish mode yet. They were built with two different UI systems. We're still transitioning out. So one of the nifty things you can do is if you hit the view button there on the top left uh, where the ship is, you'll see that it's yeah, lit up. Yeah, hey, how about that? Oh, cool. So if you, yep. And you'll be able to pan the ship around and look at all your various ships. And, and you can our, use the mouse wheel. Yeah, you can oh, zoom you can in and out on them. Out. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah, we kind of came up with this idea, like, randomly, because our uh, our 3D modeler, uh, who's just a fantastic guy, he, what's so cool about our modeler is that he thinks about everything that he does. He just doesn't build things for the pure aesthetics. He'll think about, okay, if this were real, how would you do this? How would it be buildable? So he started posting on P3D, which is a site that we post our models on, all these different specifications for the ships. I'm like, you know, people would think that this is really cool. And it, I think it helps with kind of immersion. Yeah. You can yeah. you yeah. think about the ships down to that level of detail. Um, so we can, with this, we kind of integrated this little quick feature. But this is one of the parts of Ship View where you can hit reset. It'll reset the model to the standard position. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you can do all sorts of nifty stuff. And it'll kind of adjust with the various classes of ship. Cool. Cool. So, um, I, I, this actually should be sufficient for a scout. Oh, just the um, default but, uh, Check out not... some of the other designs, though. Uh, well, like, can, uh, I figure we can kind of do that when we get into... Um, oh, that is true. ...into, into skirmish, because then you'll actually need to design stuff. That is true. Hey, want here's to build the, uh, stuff. destroyer. Yeah. And here is the cruiser. Let's, let's take a look at that one, too, because this is really cool. Yeah. I really, I, I, I'm really enjoying the, uh, the the ship designs, and uh, if the viewers have it, they really should go look at the pictures that you all have posted on the website. Uh, and of course, a lot of those, uh, I think, links to those pictures have made it to the thread on our Steam forums. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. But, uh, the ship designs are really, really good. They're very. Um, I think they have an. I think they have a very really realistic look to them because. Uh, I think too often you see ships in space games that look like, um, I, I don't know, to me kind of just totally unrealistic. And I realize, of course, that science fiction is, is just that, science fiction. But, <laughs> but if you think about it, if we send a mission to Mars in the next couple of decades, the ship is basically going to be a big tube. <laughs> yep. You know, I mean, there's no need for wings and all these protuberances that you see on, you know, so many... Uh, so many ships and 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 the alien ships that I've seen pictures of on your website uh, look definitely look alien. You know, they they don't mm -hmm. look like oh look it's the human ship but it's a different color and with the bump on it. <laughs> you know, we really tried to avoid Bumpy that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a purple ship with a bump. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, definitely, you guys, well, go check out the uh, pictures. You probably want to build a frigate. You probably want to add one weapon on it. One weapon. So okay, click so on add weapon. Add a weapon. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, it doesn't work yet. Oh, oh there we go. Work. Oh, Alan got this to work. Yeah. <laughs> Alan watching this. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Alan. So, uh, fighters, uh, you're supposed to research. Uh, oh, they okay. are so showing up. Right but, um, <laughs> I guess but yeah, you can just... pick a laser or a nuclear missile. Uh, let's go with the uh, laser cannon, I guess. And uh, I can just hit accept, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, sure. and then later... I'll be able to pick some of these. Well, you can even pick that now, but, oh, yeah. but yeah, you'll definitely want to play with uh, weapon mods when in uh, tactical. Yeah. Fun. Okay. All right. So we'll accept that, and yeah. now just probably hit build. Just build. Okay. And it tells us our total cost is forty. Mm -hmm. So okay, and then we have to build it. 
You have to build the Empress. Okay. And it'll take five turns to build. Sweet. And I'm you might want things take millions of turns. <laughs> You might want to put a calling ship in that queue too All after right. the Empress. Yeah, there All you right. go. Okay, and then uh, just hit, just hit confirm oh, there confirm in the bottom. Confirm down right? in the bottom. Hey, these yeah. big buttons that are right in front of my face. <laughs> and you can I don't know if you can buy it, but hit the buy button and it'll tell you how much money it'll cost. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Nope. Oh, you need 160. Okay, okay. so go to system. Okay. Click on that, and you can right click out or just hit turn in here. Oh, okay. I see. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm not researching anything. No, um, now you are. Okay. Well, uh, and I assume that this is the familiar system where I have to pick one. Uh, yes. Unless I have chosen a particular trait. Yes, the mm -hmm. magical trait. My favorite trait. The, yeah, <laughs> the best trait. Oh, it is the best. <laughs> gosh, I think, if I remember correctly... I would usually, if I was playing a non-creative race in Master of Orion 2, I would almost always go with um, Research Lab mm. first. Yes. So, just for the sake of tradition. <laughs> okay. And, uh, It'll take 24 turns for that. So, actually, if you right-click here real quick, you'll be able to get into System View. And when you actually go a few more turns here... A little ship You're, should pop up. Hey, there it is. There it is. Oh, it needs to get a faction colors, it looks like. Because yep. it's doing blue instead of the... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's probably... Oh, I know what's happening. Because it's inheriting species color, not uh, faction color. Ah. See, look, folks. Game development in action. Only on <laughs> yeah. Exploraminate. Only on Exploraminate. Okay, so... So, yeah. Uh, pick a... Uh, yeah, click we should on... go to that star system, because I'm pretty sure it's going to have a nebula in system view, and it'll look really pretty. Yeah, it oh, should look good. this one down here that I'm so, pulling yeah. Yeah. Click on yeah. it? Yep. Yeah. Click on the star. Click okay. two turns. Yeah, ETA two. Boom. Kelvin. Okay, click on the Kelvin system. All right, and here we are. Oh, it's oh, right outside it's, the nebula. Nope. It, it, oh. Yeah, it's outside the range. And so, and it's a, a single gas, gas, gas giant. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's the luck you get when I'm playing. Um, <laughs> so right click out. Yeah. Let's see if there's any other systems in range that you can visit, or did you get really... Oh, no, you're good. I can get to that one. Uh, it'll take a couple of turns, but that's all right. And here we are at the Cairo system. Let's try this. So you can tell oh, that no. we are not... Oh, man. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the I was gonna say, well, you can tell we're not using star lanes. You might need to research fuel cells <laughs> yeah, maybe. in order to get... Okay. Third no time early shot. game expansion for you, sir. <laughs> you don't get oh, my God. Torgo. Oh, look. Planets. <gasps> hey! Whoa, did planets. you have an it's ocean like planet a, or is that a Terran? Uh, is that Terran see, or We've ocean? got an ocean planet. It's here. an ocean. Yeah. We have a barren. Ultra poor, though. That's no good. Yeah, Another gas giants. Gas giant. Oh, there's a bunch of planets here, but I bet they're mostly gas giants. Gas giants. And one thing that, that I do want to note, and it's not in the game yet, but we are definitely heading in this direction, is... So, in this conversation right now, and your response about gas giants, like, uh, gas giants, right? <laughs> and, we, and we all think that, right? And what do we think? Because Master of Ryan 2 is like, gas giants, worthless. All I want to do with gas giants is, to, you know, use the artificial planet tech and upgrade them, right? So, our thought is, um, and also in Master of Ryan 2, outposts. Worthless. They just, they just don't make sense. So one of the things that um, we're gonna do uh, later once we get that once we get the outpost mechanic in is that outposts can be built in orbit of gas giants and they can be used in asteroid belts. And outposts will act as autonomous colonies. And what'll happen is you won't quite have the control of a standard uh, colony. It'll act really like the um, the build queue system we saw earlier, where you'll just kind of pick how the outposts will output uh, stuff. So, like, do you want an agricultural outpost or a research or an industry or a trade? And But at least the player can actually use gas giants and see them as something that's useful and viable. Right. Players can use it to spy on other species and at least or try to get a foothold on territory by building outposts. So we, we're trying to make gas giants to... and outposts relevant. Yeah. Will yeah. they be able to they defend be... themselves? They will not. Okay. So they'll be com they'll be completely defenseless. But for instance, like in this system right now, you're kind of looking like, okay, well, we have a couple good colonies. We have like a, 
ultra poor barren, which isn't great. We have an ocean world, right? Ultra but you poor, can look yeah. at the. It's also ultra poor, but you can look at the system as a whole and say, "But you know what? I can build all sorts of outposts, and I can get some general research or some general food out of this." Right. Um, so it's not a useless system. Exactly, um, and, and so we're kind of hoping players will kind of see some more value and stuff because. With how we uh, built the Galaxy Generation engine, um, by and large, it's going to be like the real universe. There are lots of gas giants out there in the real universe. Sure. So yeah, yeah. We, we don't want the player to be dismissive of a lot of the map. Right, um, right. We just want that we, we, you know, again, players can choose to use gas giants or they can say, ah, heck with it, I'm just going to stick with my standard worlds and build on them. But the player has that choice. Okay. Okay. That's, that sounds pretty good. So basically what you're telling me is, is that I can build Babylon 5 in your game. Yes. Yeah. That is amazing. And in fact, I can build Babylon 6, 7, and 8 uh, yes. in this system. If they're not blown up or, you know, you know time traveling. Yeah, spoilers, the Rigellans and Arcturans, they tend to throw temper tantrums, and they don't like Babylon stations. Oh, no. Well, that's okay. That's okay, I'll still build one. Um, okay, so I guess we ought to colonize this planet, even though it's ultra poor, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's the only thing you got. So yeah. You might want to zoom out and see when you're... going to be in range. Let's yeah. see what else is in range. Everything else is in the red, I'm afraid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Uh-oh. Uh, well, that's so what we can... Yeah, we can just keep trying to build our Yeah, colony keep uh, heading and turn until hopefully you get a colony ship pops up. We'll just pass the turn relatively. Uh oh, uh, we have finished re researching the research lab. And I would suggest building a hydroponic farm next. I saw in your stats that you were down two food. Yeah, so. I noticed that. That was distressing. I like. Yeah, you should check uh, what's going on on Earth. Oh, where did Earth go? Hello, Earth. This is one thing that players won't have to fret about. We actually are getting us. Uh, we're going to. We're going to. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a better system in place for um, players to detect colonies in system view and right, do right. some stuff with the camera. We, we are It's one of those things that in your mind and, and the design is like, this is really nifty, but then when you kind of play it out regularly, you're just like, this is getting annoying, so, mm -hmm. or this is a problem. So uh, we're kind of trying to go through and fix those things. Now, I see now, up at the top, and I don't know if the viewers on YouTube will be able to see this because it's grayed out pretty dark, but up at the top, <laughs> There's a button that says planet. Is that going to be a lot like the planet screen in, in, in Master or the colony screen in Master of Orion 2 where you could see kind of a, almost a spreadsheet of all your colonies and, mm -hmm. and what you were researching and building and you could, you know, move your people around without actually having to go to the colony itself? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> uh, well, the entire screen and planet screen should be very similar to that. Um, there's a few design things from uh, basically from Endless Space and Endless Legend that are also kind of getting worked into those. In fact, if you click on the Diplomacy uh, one, and, yeah, we don't have battleships yet, but if you click on Diplomacy, I'll that one is... One anyway. <laughs> this is still programmer art. Um, right. But um, there's a few things that we're adding here, like you'll be able to see council decrees... You'll be able to know when council votes are coming up. Your share of votes in the Galactic Council. This will also have an indicator on other victory conditions, like how many factions are remaining, how close you are to ascension once you start getting those technologies. So a lot of stuff that's more mysterious in a lot of these other games, um, we're going to outright show you like what's going on. Like, okay, if you want a military victory, how many more factions do you have to wipe out or build alliances with and things like that. Right. And you have these little progress bars um, that will show you exactly where you stand. Okay. Now they I still have minus those. two food. Oh, look, hey, I have a colony ship, too. You might want to yeah, rearrange your uh, citizens, see what's going on there, because uh, you don't have enough farmers. Or they may have gotten a new population. Yeah, you oh, still have a population. No. Uh, oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, I grew. I grew. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that happens. Uh, hey, guys, build a, something useful. Money's nice, but hydroponic farms are better. Yeah, I might want a research lab there, too. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Should take about ten turns to build each one. Okay. You might and be able to buy it. You might have enough money. Absolutely yeah. not. No? Uh, yes, you do. Yeah, you, you have yeah, 20 yeah, points. Yep. Oh. Yep. Just confirm. Okay, so what is this nine up here? Oh, that's how much money is being uh, produced at that oh, colony. Oh, at this planet. Ah, I see. So, 
we might add the um, overall empire status back on the bottom, or we might add the total treasury up on top. There's some stuff like that that we may want to do. Right. Uh, because it'll you know, make it easier for players to get the overall summary. So you don't have to ask questions like that. I see. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see down here with my total. I yeah. Gotcha. I was... But once again, stuff like this is why it's good to do videos like this, because then we can see what your questions are and go, okay, this is stuff we need to do to our UI. Yeah. All right, I'm going to send the colony ship to Torgo. And... Then you want to click on the fleet. Oh, on the oh. fleet. Oops. Yeah. That makes sense. On the fleet. Colony ship. Oops. Oh, you want to select the colony ship and not select the... Yeah. Colonize. There you go. And, colonize, and now click on the planet. Oh, the planet. And there we are. It's colonized. All right. And then we're going to build a research lab. But oh, 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 I see I see the queues. <laughs> the queues carrying over from different colonies. I would oh, rather yeah. build Let's that first. That. Build yeah. that. Okay. Unfortunately, though... Um, you can't because you actually don't have any industry here. So oh, no. you'll probably want you'll probably yes, actually uh, want to, yeah. you should be able to oh try buying a hydroponic farm. Yeah, hit confirm. And then, and then move, move your, a guy over your, uh, to industry to build yep. a research lab. Okay. Of course there you it, go. alternatively so, I could have It'll take sixty turns, but <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, alternatively I could have built freighter fleet, I guess. Yeah. And now you can keep it's expanding. The of the galaxy, potentially. Yes, Ooh. I can go to this empty star. Oh, it, it, but it didn't delete the colony ship. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ship uh, I think it did. No, wait. No. Oh, oh no. It, 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 oh, the split didn't work. Oh, oh interesting. <laughs> I have discovered a bug, folks. So, so you. Uh, it's a feature. You, you 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 get more ships as you move around. <laughs> Well, it's it's like uh, the other fleet is empty, but it actually. You should make that a trait of one of the races. Amalek Ooh, Prime. That is a good planet. Ooh, that is a, a good minimal. planet. So minimal minutes. planets are like a Martian type planet. Right. Right. Okay. So a little but bit of an atmosphere, picture. maybe, but no life that we know of. That we know of. <laughs> <laughs> and that sort of thing. Uh, all right. Well, now that I have two ships. <laughs> Let's see if I can cheat. Actually, I uh, cannot move the ship that I moved. Oh, it looks like it selected multiple fleets here. Yeah. But I, I, I see boxes around both. Yeah. And I... Try I, clicking real quick. Oh, there, there we go. go. Uh, I cannot move back to Cairo no matter what I do. That is interesting. Interesting. Uh, that was the only place that was in range anyway, so the bug is not actually harming me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an early alpha build, folks, so these things happen, but, uh, you know, the basics of the game certainly are in place when it comes to moving ships around and exploring systems and colonizing planets and building some things. Now, are there buildings that you could research right now that are not currently implemented, or are those pretty all, pretty well all there? They're pretty much there up to, like, mid-tech, so, like, 3,500 research points, they are all there. Okay. Now, should Torgo have, uh, should that have changed color? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it'll also change color, and then we're also working on a, a border system. So it'll actually give you, like, a, like, a nice border, so when you zoom out, you can see, like, what your actual empire size is. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds great. Well, uh, okay. Well, let's, um, I think we're, hey, look, we have a, uh, Mm -hmm. Whatever this is, a research, a research, research lab. Research lab, yep. yay! Oh, it looks like it's keeping the spray of the previously built items here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I think so because I think we ought to be building the hydroponic farm now. Uh, that's. I know you actually have it there. It's yeah, in the background. Yeah, the background. It's oh, actually doing trade. Yep. Yeah. yeah, if you look in the the back right part of the screen. Oh, hey, there the it hill, is. It's really hard to see, of course, because they're just two D. You know. Quick right. drawn sketches, but it doesn't have color yet. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I see. All right, so yeah, it's back here in this corner. Gotcha. All right. Well, it is they certainly a tried and true system, and uh, you guys seem to be implementing it well, but with some changes that you know make sense for the modern, the modern era. 
uh, particularly some of the systems we were talking about last time that will help with, uh, you know, keeping micromanagement hopefully to, to a minimum. Mm -hmm. And uh, all right, folks. Well, we're going to cut this video here. It's a little bit of a shorter one, but uh, in our next episode, we really are going to look at uh, the skirmish mode and combat. So we'll see you there. <laughs>